Hi everyone. I often get asked um, what screen recording software do you use? I've tried loads of them, um, but the, my favorite is Flashback Express. I've actually purchased F Flashback Pro because I use it so much now and it's, I'm just beginning to love it. It's great. So what I'll do, we'll jump over. This is my Windows 10 VM. And what we'll do, we'll do a search for Flashback Express. And then you can see it's come straight at the top as soon as you type it. So I'll just hit the down arrow, press enter. This is the link at the top. And I'm going to download and I'm going to choose Flashback Express. I don't need to save it. I'm going to run it and install it on here. So whilst it's downloading, let's have a look. Depends on the speed of broadband, how fast it is, obviously. Um, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Yes, I do. I'll click yes. And I'll close the web page in the background by clicking across, just so you can see what's going on more clearly. Okay, so now we're just going to go through the install. So I'm going to click next, accept the terms of license agreement, next, next, next. And I want it to create a shortcut on my desktop and on the quick launch bar. So I'm just going to click install. There you go. It's didn't really take that long. I'm now going to click next. Um, I don't send anonymous data. Why not? Let's run it now. Yeah, so let's click finish. Just waiting for it to load a second. Okay, here we go. We're on the latest version as well. And like I said, this is free. It's a fantastic tool. I would recommend having a play with it. Show your mates, come with friends. And if you do learn something that you'd like others to see, why not upload it to YouTube? If you take this checkbox away, this will no longer appear. I always leave it on by default. It's easy use. So I'm just going to record my screen. So you've got the option. You can record full screen, which is everything you see on your desktop. You can record a region which say for argument's sake you opened notepad a region would be just this you would have to drag and select a few things over i tell you what why don't we just go through it so let's see how difficult it is so full screen let me record my full screen shift control and s to stop recording OK, right. So this is my full screen now. So I'm recording on the software I've downloaded via me recording you, which is quite simple. So I'm going to just click pause. And I'm going to click stop. And let's review it. It does depend on the speed of your computer, laptop, um, but it's generally quite quick and it's so simple to use. So this is us. So if I click play. And that's me explaining to you what I was doing. Really simple. With the pro version, you can stop, edit, cut frames. You can add speech bubbles. You can, there's so much you can do. So what we'll do for now, we'll, uh, we'll close that. Do you want to save the recording? No. Yeah. So now we're going to record a region. So what's a region? So let's say we open up. Um, yeah, let's just open up a notepad. It's so much easier. So a region would be this box or a couple of boxes. But what you have to do is drag the red lines around the box. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So if I click on record, 
And if you can see, it says, do you want to record? Yes. But see these annoying red lines that go everywhere? So if you just click on here with the left mouse button, click it old and drag it over to the right hand side. And then let it go. If you notice now, this box has a red line around it. So let's click and hold the left mouse button on select region and move it down here out the way. So if I click record now, it'll give me the countdown. And voila, it's recording in this region. This is a test. So we're just going to click stop and review. Give it a few seconds. OK, here we go. So now if you notice, I have nothing other than the box I selected with the red line. And if I click play, give me a second. And play. There you go. Me explaining. This is the test. Okay. Marvellous. No rocket science. We don't want to save it. So let's close this box. And no. So we'll close the notepad. Don't save. So what about a window then? What's a window? Okay. So let's say you open up, you want to show somebody how to navigate to their My Documents on their C, C drive. So this is it here. So let's shrink this a bit now, just so we can uh, make it nice and neat. Okay. There we go. So let's say you want to show somebody how to go into File Explorer. So click File Explorer and then navigate to their My Documents or something similar, a folder in particular. So click the folder, make it the shape you want it, and it's window now. So I'm going to drag the red lines around, so just click record. Right, now it's asking you to click on a box. See the red lines? It will only record what's within the red lines. So if I click the top, as you can see now, it's highlighted all the way around the window I've just opened. So if I just click record, it's going to installize. Right, so now it's only recording the window. So I could say what I need you to do is go to my computer. I need you to scroll down a bit, expand. You have a backup drive. And what I want you to do is uh, make a new folder for argument's sake. Um, save files here but if you noticed when I right clicked you couldn't see the menu because it's outside of the window so you need to put a bit of thought into what you're going to do so if I just right click and delete this yeah and let's say I was to go right click view you can see down these menus it's a very small window so what we'll do now, we'll, we can't really do nothing apart from that because the window is too small for the drop down. So if I go to view here, share, home, you can see everything. If I go to new folder, rather than right clicking on the space, then I can type um, save your files in here. Fine. But if again, if I right click and do it, you lose the drop down menu. So when you're creating things like this, make sure the window you're going to work in, if you're going to record a window, is big enough. So I'm just going to delete this and close this. And I'm going to show you exactly what I just done again now. So we review. And when you see the review, you'll see. If you're recording something that's really tiny and you're confident you can get everything in there, fine. If not, make it a bit bigger. So this is what we was looking at. Yeah. 
So this is the window I recorded, which was the third option. And then you've got me explaining again how to do things. Scrolling down, my computer, etc, etc. I won't bore you with all the, de all the details, so I'll pause that now. I'll close that. I don't want to save any changes. Like I said, Flashback Express is free. It's a fantastic utility. When you get to like it as much as I do, you'll most probably upgrade to the Pro version. If not, it's something you can use to share things with your mates, colleagues. Absolutely fantastic. Hope you enjoyed the vid. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And thanks for watching.